Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Go. In today's episode, it is day two of the Wild Area uh, Global, which is very cool. It is the electric hour. It looks like it's going to be continuing going electric, poison, electric, poison today. Uh, and things we learned from yesterday, shining rates are kind of lower than I would like, but as long as we're grinding, um, we should be getting the job done. Also, the Go Plus just kind of was MVP once again yesterday. Um, number two. Rating, I still want to get as many Dialga candy as possible. I still want to try and get a good or shiny um, Gigantamax Toxtricity. And then shiny Hunt list is um, actually two from this hour. And uh, Hisuian, <clears throat> Hisuian Voltorb, uh, definitely. And then uh, Helioptile. And also from the Poison Hour, we're looking for Shiny Marini still. So that's my like top list. And then, you know, getting a Shiny Snorlax would be dope. Um, not going to be doing any Primal Raids because we did end up getting the 296 for Groudon yesterday. Um, so 299 now. Yesterday we did pop off. Um, shiny and H0... zero to one all right yesterday we kind of popped off a lot of these are from raids but 15 shinies on day one very very cool so we're looking for probably about that same amount um so about a shiny per hour um and then anything better than that would be awesome hundos are also going to be very cool and the final thing that we're going to be looking for today is our mighty pokemon today we are in winter park florida at least for this first part um for the first like four rotations we're going to be here and then we might move over to disney springs depending on how it works out the community uh discord group is somewhere out here but i arrived about 30 minutes late because of traffic um Gotta love that Orlando traffic, am I right? Um, but this is pretty much number one on the hit list is Helioptile. And then I'm gonna try and find my community somewhere, they're, they're out here. Um, I know a lot of them are looking for that Gigantamax, so wherever a Gigantamax pops up is probably where they're gonna head. But right now there's no Gigantamax around, so I'm gonna start my wild area day two. Wish me luck. All right, so it looks like I have found the community behind me. We are, as a community, I guess, looking for Gigantamax raids and then just raiding in general. So, cool. And I just put the Go Plus on in the background, which is nice, because the Go Plus was my MVP yesterday. So it's just gonna be catching for me while we do raids, which is super nice. Hatching a shiny baby. It's a Gooby. Um, but it looks like we're going to go over to that Gigantamax and then circle around to that one. This is what it looks to be the idea. But uh, I'm going to go back before I get lost again. Alright, so I got invited into a Snorlax remote raid and we got the shiny Snorlax. Let's freaking go with the Safari Ball. Let's go. Shiny Snorlax with the costume is super crazy. And that also means I don't have to do another Snorlax for the rest of the day. Let's freaking go. That's even, that's the best part. You may be asking, why am I recording a 2K and a 5K? I got spoiled to the results. Right here, Shiny Eggly Buff. Let's go. That's so cool. And uh, I now understand why this group used to be called uh, Orlando Raids. We're just raiding. We're just raid, 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 raid. But well, let's freaking go. Igly Buff, a very, very cool. And it's a local Igly Buff too, Winter Park. Let's go. And then again, if you missed it, if you weren't paying attention two seconds ago, that shiny Snorlax. Let's go. I love the design on it. That design on the back is really cool. This is a really dope costume Pokemon. Oh, I'm I'm missing my Gigantamax raid group. I gotta go. And on the way over to Gigantamax, we got another shiny, shiny Skrulp this time. Very, very cool. And already more shinies in this like one little like half hour than most of yesterday, which is crazy. The luck today is wild. All right, so we are continuing the shiny luck here with a shiny 
Electric, which is really dope because that means I can get the family and Manetric Shiny is so good. Let's go. All right, so after a pretty nice like first half, uh, not quite half, I guess, um, almost halfway point, um, we're actually doing really well. I'm very happy with today's results so far. It's been a lot better than yesterday, in my opinion. But I think that's also because I've been getting like more mighty Pokemon. The community here was a lot more like grouped together because it's not Disney Springs. <laughs> Disney Springs, it's like everywhere you're like, oh hey, you're playing Pokemon. Oh hey, you're playing Pokemon. Like, nice. And like the lobbies just kind of fill up without like you even trying. But here it's like one group of like, I think it was about, it was over 40 at the beginning. And remember, I was late to the beginning of it. So it was like at least 40 people. And then for a long time, it was about like 30 something people. So that was really cool. And then let's go ahead and check this Dialga. Not a shiny. Oh, wrong ball. Oh, well. Um, but yeah, very eventful day, like very, very fun. The community like stayed together and like we're just going from like group to group and like just like the banter was really great. Like, oh yeah, like let's cheer everyone on during like the, like if your Pokemon like fainted, they were actually like cheering on and be like, yeah, and like low key making fun of the mechanic, but like it was so much fun. And, um, but with that being said, I am going to go back to Disney Springs now just to be closer to more hundo mighty pokemon because people are consistently spamming the wildfire uh campfire like mighty over here mighty over there mighty over here and like over there it's a lot easier to like run around and like actually get to the mighty pokemon than here where it's like oh there's a mighty pokemon like three blocks over and then three blocks the other way and like half of us are like visiting so like we don't really know the area so we're like halfway to like the wrong Pokestop, um, but it's been so much fun, very excited. Um, and with that being said, heading over to Disney Springs, probably gonna get lunch somewhere, and uh, let's go ahead and actually check and see, cause like the Go Plus and everything, four star, so no new hundos, and shiny and age zero. So we've actually done pretty well um, with the Spinarak, Snorlax, Daily buff on the hatch, Skrelp in the wild, and Electrike in the wild. Um, let's go ahead and check these IVs. Yeah, not great. Um, but yeah, very excited with today. All right, and we are in Disney Springs now. We have our first shiny here today. A nice golden shiny Shinx. Very, very cool. And honestly, I'm not mad with it. I haven't gotten a shiny Shinx in the wild since its original community day. So very, very excited about this today. And hopefully we get some more. Oh boy, and let's go ahead and get some more shinies. Hopefully we get the ones that we're actually looking for today, and wish me luck. All right, and it's now poison hour, and we got a shiny quillfish, which is a repeat from yesterday, but it's a dope shiny, so I'm not mad. It's a very like vibrant pink shiny, which is very different from its regular form. And if it's like good IVs, it can be like, never mind, they won't be good for PvP. Uh, we are in the middle of a big cluster. Marini is number one on my hit list for Poison Hour. Um, and then I guess like the goal right now is just to go around and try and find Mighty Pokemon. And maybe do a Dialga raid here and there because for of time, I've been using all day yesterday, all day today. And so I'm basically out of Dialga candies again. And the point of doing the raids for Dialga was so that I could have more of time for future events. Um, and I now have zero Dialga candies. Again, so we got to do some more Dialga raids, maybe do some raids like post, hopefully we still have like unlimited uh, remote raid passes even after 6 o'clock, but who knows, that might go away real fast. And no other shinies in this cluster, unfortunately, so we're going to go ahead and keep on moving. Alright, and we finally got another shiny, shiny tentacle, another different one today, which is really nice. Forgot to put in a safari ball. Darn it. Oh, let's go. Don't run. It ran. No. No, it ran. Oh. The Go Plus got it. Let's go. The Go Plus got it on a Pokeball. Let's. 
Yo, the wild range of emotions I just went through was crazy. And we got another shiny, shiny bell sprout this time. Very, very cool. I forgot. The, using a safari ball is such like a crazy like concept. And I keep forgetting to use it. I have so many still to use. Um, I have 108 safari balls. And I just keep forgetting to use them. So I think in that like last 15 minutes, uh, where it's like boosted chances of getting mighty Pokemon, I might just switch over to safari balls and quick catch everything in that. Um, but, very, very cool, another shiny, another different shiny, which is really cool. All right, so we're hunting down a mighty Dragonite, but we got a shiny Electabuzz, and we got a shiny on the Go Plus as well, which I have to show you guys still. It's a repeat, but it's a repeat that I want, because that community today, actually, that's a Polyrath, a mighty Polyrath on the Incense. Very, very cool. And the Dragonite is still on the nearby, which means I probably have to go like closer, like across the bridge here. No, don't run, don't run. Dog, stay running. Um, but I was not able to really play this community day, so I'm actually really excited that we got a shiny Tynamo. Very cool. Not great IVs, but very cool. All right. It's much later and darker and starting to get colder, but we have another shiny and a very cool one. It is a repeat, but maybe this time we'll get the IVs for PvP. Sort of. All right. So we got another shiny and the plan is to just go very, very try hard in the last 15 minutes and basically try and get as many mighty Pokemon as possible in that fin in the finale 15 minutes. So I'm going to go back to the front and I'm going to just beeline through everything, just put Safari Balls on and just quick catch everything. Hopefully we get some, some Shinies, a Hundo in there, hopefully we get some good Mighties, and of course, more Shinies. Alright, so that is going to wrap up Wild Area Day 2. And let's go ahead and get the final counts for today. Let's go ahead and check. No Nundos. That's fine. That's fine. Shiny and Age Zero. 13 Shinies. Most of them caught on camera, which is not something that we normally get to do. Uh, and we also got some exciting ones, like a Hatch, which is dope. Always love a Shiny Hatch. And Costume Snorlax. Man, that let me Dialga raid so much more that I didn't have to do that anymore. Then we also got a bunch of, like, nothing new, which is unfortunate, but a lot of different things from day one, which is always nice. And let's go ahead and see, did we get any hundos? I haven't looked at this yet. I'm really hoping we get at least one. No, nothing. That's wild. Oh, dang it. All right. But, if we go to 3 star and age 0, we got 149 3 star Pokemon today, which is crazy, and a nice variety of mighty Pokemon. Now, that is, you know, we also lost a few, including at least one hundo that I know of for sure, um, which is upsetting. <laughs> um, but we got some good ones, very cool ones, including this 96 Dragonite, which is dope. Love that. And it's already level 40. So that's cool. I think we got a lot of like really cool Pokemon today. Um, and very excited, but also very tired. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this thing up here. If you did like it, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. If you enjoyed the series, please subscribe. And as always, God bless and see you in another episode of Pokemon Go!